We are currently at the Mustang Island State Park on uh, Mustang Island, just south of Port Aransas, and we are visiting for the marine biology field trip. Um, the opportunity to get these students into the field and to see marine organisms in their real habitat. Being in Abilene, I can show them pictures, I can show them preserved specimens, but there's nothing like really getting to see the specimens in, in person. And um, as an undergrad and as a graduate student, I came on many trips to Port Aransas and went out on the Katy, and I knew how important it was to me and what I've seen in other students. And really the purpose of this is to get these guys down here so that they get that wonderful experience and I've seen it on their face in all the activities we've done. Um, the very cool things they've seen and the way they reacted to them. We do samples in all the major habitats. We start off in the back bay looking for things like shrimp. Um, yesterday we caught some cool pipe fish. We also caught some puffer fish. Um, that's where we'll find things like snails, oysters, some crabs, fiddler crabs. Then we go out to the jetties um, and on the jetties we'll find things that are more attached. So sea anemones, sea urchins, um, a lot of the algaes, different algae types we'll see there. And of course that's a favorite place to go to because we get to see the green sea turtles. Um, we also do beach samples. We're sitting on the beach right now. This is where we're going to find a lot of the shells that wash up. Um, we also got lucky this year and found some sea stars washed up. We also go out on the uh, research vessel Katie from UT um, and sample in the back bay doing trawls, um, etc. to see a bunch of different fish types and a lot of cool different things. I try to do as much field activity as possible because getting the students into the field, getting them the hands-on opportunities to uh, obtain these organisms in their native habitats instead of just looking at them in pictures is really important to the way we teach here at McMurray. And this field trip definitely helped me see a lot and experience a lot that I guess I would never learn outside of this class, honestly. I like the hands-on better because you learn more. I think you learn more. I like learning hands-on, especially with this, because we got to go out and see all the different animals in their natural environment, and it wasn't just another picture out of a book. It really made a difference in, in planting it in our memories and making it a really special trip. I don't think there's anything particular I wanted to learn. I think everything about it is interesting, from the plants to the various currents to mammals, everything in between, really. Uh, I mean, you know, something as simple as a sponge can be intricate and, and beautiful in its own right. For me, definitely going out on the boat and holding things uh, can actually have hands-on experience with marine life that I actually have never seen outside of uh, maybe an aquarium. Going out on the boat and getting to sample all the different things and catch a bunch of different fish, see some dolphins. I enjoyed the boat and getting to learn about all of the um, fish and other aquatic life that's around uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Since I'm from Houston, I thought that was pretty cool because uh, I get to go to Galveston a lot and I think it'd be pretty cool to tell my friends and family about what I learned and uh, teach them some things that I've picked up. Most of the sampling that we'll do, they're going to use to write a lovely five-page somewhere in that neighborhood report over everything we did, how we sampled, what we got. Um, but in the long run, I would like to continue doing these over the next several decades and collecting that data to see what kind of changes and trends we see over that time in my own collections, not just ones that researchers here on the coast are doing themselves. My biggest hope is that they learn the joy of being in the field. That they get inspired seeing all the different organisms and they fall in love with the world around them because it's that kind of inspiration that will keep them going in their education, keeps them going forward and really looking at the world around them. And even if they don't go any further in their education, they at least get some of that awe that when they come later to the beach and bring their kids, it's not just some shell on the beach or a sand dollar that comes up they can actually speak to it and talk to it um, and pass that knowledge on to their children or others.